Hi there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I just wanted to pop on quick and talk about protein pacing. This is actually something I chatted about today at Burn Boot Camp Eden Prairie. Um, had a fantastic workout, and then did a talk about nutrition for women, women's hormones, all um, some subject matter that's in my upcoming book, The Female Fat Solution. And um, if you guys are ever interested and want to come do a workout, please let me know. I would love to have you join us. So, um, also there's a link that you can click that's attached to this video, and if you're interested in joining the next Jumpstart Challenge that I have going, uh, you can click the link, learn more, learn more about eating for your hormones, learn more about working with your body, specifically targeting adrenal issues, thyroid issues, and just other hormone issues. That's what we're going to be focusing on for this challenge group. There's a ton of great stuff that you can do to really help boost your thyroid naturally. Yay! Okay. So when we talk about protein pacing, uh, one of the things that can be really tough for women, and um, also, side note, I did a segment on WCCO this week, busy week, <laughs> and they, uh, I, ha I posted the recording of that, um, but so many women are just not aware of the fact that they're eating wrong for their body or that they're following recommendations that are not accurate for themselves and not up to par for what you really need. So when we talk about protein pacing, it's really easy to space out the protein you're eating throughout the day so you get a big number of protein in through the day, for the end of the day, but that you're getting your body to absorb that protein. Uh, when we talk about protein, again, the 20 grams, um, I'm going to write that down over here, 20 grams is the benchmark for protein muscle synthesis. So if you're getting any type of protein, protein shake, protein bar, all that stuff, and you're really focused on um, health overall and you want weight loss, and you're not at least getting 20 grams, you are missing the mark a ton. It's got to be 20 grams. This is not a branding thing. This is not a personal preference thing. This is literally how the body works. And got to have that 20 grams to start protein muscle synthesis. So great. So when we talk about getting to these higher numbers of protein, um, 125 is a great number for a lot of women to start at. You know, yes, go with your lean body mass or things like that. Um, and then spacing it out into different meals throughout the day. Meals one through five, focusing on 25 grams of protein at each meal so you can get to that 125 mark at the end of the day. Say you've been doing that and, oh, I've been doing a great job with this 125 grams and um, I really want to take it to the next level. I feel like I'm at a plateau and I want to bump my protein up. How do I do that? Super easy thing to do is just increase it by 5 grams at each meal that you're already doing. Kind of eat the same way, but then add in like a handful of almonds at, at each meal. It, it might be boring, but it'll get you there by the end of the day, 150 grams. Or you can add in another meal of 25 grams, and there you are at 150. There's a lot of different ways that you can protein pace your way to higher amounts of protein. Another thing about protein pacing <laughs> is, um, so with increasing protein, your body has to absorb it and digest it and get it. And sometimes, especially if you have not been eating enough protein, it can be a little tough to break the protein down and to not feel like you have like a gut bomb of protein in your stomach. So it's really important that not only are you increasing the protein, but you're also increasing things that help your digestion because that's really, really important. Boost your digestion. So at the same time, it's best to start your day boosting your digestion. So apple cider vinegar. So these are the things that I recommend starting the day with. Um, apple cider vinegar, lemon water. Uh, you can also add in some cinnamon, some cayenne. Um, some people do honey, turmeric, some great things, you know, but these are basic for boosting your digestion in the morning. Um, kombucha. Kombucha throughout the day. There's active probiotics and digestive enzymes in there that are fantastic. Other digestive enzymes. And you can have these throughout the day. So you start your day with this. And then maybe, you know, let's call this A, B, C, um, D, other things that you can do besides digestive enzymes. Because kombucha, we'll also call this a probiotic. Um, and then we'll do fiber slash greens, right? That's going to also increase. So fiber, you can get a fiber supplement or you can just add other leafy greens into your system. Um, sometimes powdered greens. Those are going to help your digestion. And of course, increasing your water intake. 
um, that's going to help as well. Side note though, don't increase your water during your meal. Increase your water in between. So we'll put this as E. So if you're pacing this out and say we're focusing on this one here, you're going to want to do E in between your meals because you want your digestive enzymes to be at their most potent when you're eating. So not a lot of liquid during your, during your meals. But you're going to do A right away in the morning, and then maybe B here, C here, D here with these meals. Easy way to help increase your digestion. Um, other digestive enzymes, just in case you're wondering what that is, if you're looking at an additional source, you, you can get a supplement, you can get other things. An easy thing to start with, and this is, a we'll say, a low entry point for people, to try out to see if this is going to help because if it does if you're noticing an improvement then I say do more of it because your body needs more of it something like a papaya p a p a y a a papaya enzyme a papaya enzyme can you guys see that there a papaya enzyme papaya enzyme supplements um, you can get them for like 10 bucks at their natural food store and they're a little chewable tasty little tablet so uh, sometimes if people feel nauseous or they're not feeling good or traveling, because sometimes when you're traveling, it disrupts your digestive system, adding in a little bit of a papaya enzyme, great way to just kind of boost that, and it's an easy chewable. If you're noticing an improvement with that, sometimes diving into more digestive enzymes can be helpful. If you have questions on that, um, message me or comment below, and I can kind of chat about different digestive enzymes that can be helpful. But throughout the day when you're protein pacing, so you're breaking down all that protein, so you're digesting and absorbing it, and your belly is staying happy, then add these things in into your day here so that you can get the most out of your protein. Otherwise, if you're just getting these high amounts of protein and you're having a tough time breaking it down, you might feel like you have a stomach ache, you might feel extra bloated, you might feel like... Uh, gassy or maybe you'll get constipated some things like that and that means that your digestive system is not working properly and you're not actually absorbing that protein that you're working so hard to eat ah! <laughs> so that's my little tip for the day um, again if you guys found this helpful if you would click the share button I would greatly greatly appreciate it um, women also have different digestion during different weeks of the month so Weeks one and two um, of your cycle, and I can talk about this more if you guys want, your digestive system is more active after you ovulate and especially the week before your period starts. Your digestive system is slowed way down. So you may need to incorporate all of these things during that week to really get your digestive system moving at the pace it needs to, to break down the proteins to get it in your body. So just a little tip for the ladies, because it's different for ladies to absorb di and digest protein than it is for men. Um, in America, we aren't trained on gram measurements. What's the best way to think about this in a non-metric unit? Oh, that's a really good question. Um, the best way to think about protein, it really is um, trying to get it... The, so the hard thing is, is that when people really think, oh, I'm going to get more protein, I'm eating more protein. When you actually measure it, oftentimes it's not near enough. It's not as much as you think it is. Um, I, I can't tell you how often I run across this. So really the best start is to track what you're doing. And there's so many apps out there that make it easy. My Fitness Pal is probably the most common one that people use of entering what you're eating and tracking it. Once you start doing that, it gets easy to kind of gauge, oh, this is you know easy to do. So just because I've done so much, not only tracking food, but also making meal plans, because um, that's what the, my challenge group is, is, is meal plans for women. So I know, I just know now how much protein is in stuff. Um, like an egg has about six, maybe seven grams of protein if it's a big egg. And why else would you want to know that unless you are really into this stuff, right? But it's more about getting in the habit of, okay, not, you don't have to know all the proteins, but know the amounts for you. So for me, I'm 6'2", I'm a big gal, I'm working on building more muscle right now, so I'm trying to get even higher amounts than this. I'm working towards like 170, 180 grams a day, and that's just for me personally and my goals right now. So I am looking to get, you know, at least 35 sometimes close to 40 grams of protein at a meal. That's a lot more. So when I'm looking at getting eggs, 
I have two eggs and two egg whites. Otherwise, I'm not gonna get close to protein. And then I also have to couple that with some Greek yogurt or some other sources of you know protein, maybe some cheese or, or you know. Um, my new favorite that I posted earlier this week is uh, quinoa with ground turkey mixed in and just having that in stock. And I know, okay, half a cup of this is gonna be another 15 grams of protein for me. Easy thing to add in. So I can gauge, no, it's 20 grams of protein, sorry. Anyway, um, depending on how much of the ground turkey to quinoa ratio you use there. Um, the one I made, it's about 20 grams of protein. So I can add in half a cup of that, have my eggs, and I can get close to 40 grams of protein. <sighs> High in protein. But that's what I'm looking for. <sighs> I feel like I'm rambling now. But this is a great way to break it down in terms of pacing, getting to your different goals here um, for protein. But otherwise, you really do have to track it. If you're, if you're really nervous about tracking it, then I would say that joining the challenge group would be the best thing for you because it's going to be laid out for you and you don't have to think about it or worry. Just follow the chart and there you go. Um, yeah, but these things for digestion are going to be the best things. Apple cider vinegar, lemon. I know it's gross. It's totally gross. No one likes it. If you do like it, then I don't know. But there's other spices and things you can add to make it tolerable. Um, but this is a fantastic thing to add in, and I recommend this for a lot of people. They have it at Costco, too. But I love Costco. That's just an enzyme of fiber, greens. Again, fiber can be a supplement, too. You can get that as a powder. Um, this is different than some type of laxative or anything like that, so keep that in mind. You don't want this to be something that's flushing out your digestive system. You want it to be helping and boosting your digestive system. That's what all these things are designed for. So incorporating these different um, at different times of the day with your different meals. Hopefully this kind of makes sense for everyone. <laughs> These are ease. I didn't I didn't mark that in there. You like my color coding and everything. This is this is fancy for me. When you're eating that much protein, how much veggie carbs are you aiming for? Jackie, great question. So vegetables, I recommend eating vegetables at just about every meal. Otherwise it's really tough to get your daily serving of vegetables. And those extra leafy greens are really helpful for digestion. Absolutely. Um, carbs also can be very, very different. I've done a lot of different um, videos and other things on carb cycling, uh, carb backloading. It just depends. So I'll give you an example for me because it can be different for each person. Again, if you say you weigh 125 pounds and you want to have that be your goal of 125 grams of protein, you may be looking at 125 grams of carb a day as well. I actually do um, some carb cycling. So some days I'm eating up to 200 grams of carb. Some days I'm eating as low as 50 grams of carb. It, it just depends. So, um, but that's a really great question. If you have more questions on what you, maybe, maybe great for you, um, go ahead and send me a message and we can kind of chat about that because carbs also play a role in thyroid and other hormone issues. So depending on what somebody has going on, sometimes I make a different recommendation there. So anyway, um, I'll take a picture of this and put it in the, uh, in the comments below so you guys can see it. But these are your meals. Sorry. Meals one through five, and then this is the chart there. I didn't really plan it out like that to have it be that, but hopefully you guys um, can understand this. So, protein. Protein, one of my favorite things to talk about. I love protein, 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 protein. And that 20 gram is the magic number, the magic number that you need to get to. So yeah, all right. That is what I have for everyone for today. Um, thank you for listening. And again, share this if you found it helpful. There'll be this in the comments. And again, if you have questions, don't hesitate. I love, love, love helping women get on the right track to their health and have them be able to do that with ease and feel like they're getting the right result for the right timing for their body. All right, everybody have a great night.